The 1990s Acura NSX is a milestone in automotive history, a vehicle that not only redefined what a supercar could be, but also showcased Honda's mastery of engineering and design. Conceived during a time when European manufacturers dominated the supercar segment, the NSX set out to break conventions. Honda aimed to create a car that would rival or surpass the Ferraris and Porsches of the era, not just in terms of performance, but also in reliability, usability, cap, and engineering sophistication. The result was a car that seamlessly combined innovation, elegance, and capability, pushing the boundaries of what a performance vehicle could achieve. At the heart of the NSX was its engine, the legendary C30A. This 3.0-liter V6 power plant was a technological marvel designed to deliver high performance without compromising durability or refinement. Built entirely from aluminum, the engine block and cylinder heads were light yet incredibly strong, significantly reducing the car's overall weight. The engine's most groundbreaking feature was its variable valve timing and lift electronic control system, or VTEC, a revolutionary technology at the time. VTEC allowed the engine to optimize valve timing for two distinct operating modes, low-speed efficiency and high-speed power. This dual-character capability meant the NSX could deliver exceptional responsiveness at low RPMs while unleashing thrilling performance as the revs climbed. The engine produced 270 horsepower at 7,300 RPM and 210 pound-feet of torque at 5,300 RPM, with a redline at an exhilarating 8,000 RPM. The engineering behind the C30A didn't stop at VTEC. The engine featured titanium connecting rods, a first for a production car, which reduced reciprocating mass and allowed for higher rotational speeds. The forged crankshaft and lightweight aluminum pistons contributed to the engine's ability to rev freely and consistently under demanding conditions. A dual-stage intake manifold ensured optimal airflow, while a precision-engineered exhaust system maximized the engine's output. Cooling was another area of focus, with a highly efficient cross-flow radiator and dual electric fans, ensuring thermal stability even during prolonged high-performance driving. The NSX underwent a significant update in 1997, introducing the C32B engine, a larger and more powerful 3.2-liter version of the V6. The increased displacement achieved by enlarging the bore and stroke resulted in a power boost to 290 horsepower at 7,100 RPM and 224 pound-feet of torque at 5,300 RPM. The additional torque enhanced mid-range acceleration, making the car even more capable in real-world driving scenarios. This engine was paired with a new six-speed manual transmission, which featured closer gear ratios for improved acceleration and a more engaging driving experience. The inclusion of a dual-mass flywheel and a short-throw gear lever further refined the transmission's operation, providing smooth and precise shifts. The NSX's performance, however, was not just about raw power. The car's lightweight design was a key factor in its dynamic capabilities. It was the first production car to feature a fully aluminum monocoque chassis and body panels, a groundbreaking innovation at the time. This construction reduced the car's weight by nearly 200 kilograms compared to conventional steel designs, resulting in a curb weight, curb weight of approximately 1,350 kilograms. The weight savings translated directly into better acceleration, handling, and fuel efficiency. The aluminum structure also enhanced the car's rigidity, ensuring precise and predictable handling during spirited driving. The suspension system was another area where the NSX excelled. Featuring double wishbone suspension at all four corners, the system was engineered to provide a perfect balance between ride comfort and handling precision. The use of aluminum components in the suspension reduced unsprung mass, further improving the car's ability to respond quickly to driver inputs. The suspension geometry was tuned to deliver neutral handling characteristics with minimal body roll and exceptional grip. This setup was refined with input from Formula One champion Ayrton Senna, who provided critical feedback during the car's development. Senna's insights ensured that the NSX handled with the precision and confidence of a race car while remaining forgiving and approachable for less experienced drivers. The NSX's braking system featured ventilated discs with a highly advanced four-channel anti-lock braking system, ABS. This system allowed for consistent and controlled deceleration even during hard braking at high speeds. 
the inclusion of traction control provided an additional layer of stability, particularly in slippery conditions, ensuring that power delivery remained smooth and controlled. The car's steering was electrically assisted, offering exceptional feedback and precision, making the NSX feel alive in the driver's hands. Aerodynamics played a crucial role in the NSX's design. The car's sleek, low-slung profile was not just aesthetically pleasing, but also functionally efficient. Honda engineers worked extensively in wind tunnels to refine the bodywork, resulting in a drag coefficient of just 0.32. The design incorporated subtle details, such as integrated air ducts and a smooth underbody, to reduce turbulence and increase stability at high speeds. The car's stability was further enhanced by its front-to-rear weight distribution of 4258, achieved by placing the engine in a midship configuration. This layout not only improved handling, but also contributed to the NSX's exceptional balance during cornering. Inside, the NSX offered a driving experience that was both engaging and comfortable. The interior was designed with the driver in mind, featuring a cockpit-style layout that ensured all controls were within easy reach. High-quality materials, such as soft-touch surfaces and leather upholstery, added a touch of luxury. The seats were designed to provide excellent support during spirited driving while remaining comfortable for long journeys. The cabin was remarkably quiet for a supercar, thanks to advanced insulation techniques and careful attention to sealing. This focus on refinement made the NSX a car that could be driven daily without the fatigue often associated with high-performance vehicles. In terms of safety, the NSX was ahead of its time. Its aluminum construction provided exceptional crashworthiness, combining strength with energy absorption to protect occupants during collisions. The car was equipped with dual airbags, side impact beams, and reinforced crumple zones. These features, combined with the inherent rigidity of the aluminum monocoque, ensured that the NSX met or exceeded global safety standards. The NSX's performance figures were equally impressive. The original 3.0-liter model could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.2 seconds and achieve a top speed of 168 miles per hour. The 3.2-liter version improved these numbers slightly, with a 0-60 time of 5.0 seconds and a top speed of around 172 miles per hour. However, the NSX was never about straight-line speed alone. Its true brilliance lay in its ability to deliver a cohesive driving experience, with every component working in harmony to create a car that was both thrilling and confidence-inspiring. In summary, the 1990s Acura NSX was a groundbreaking vehicle that redefined the supercar genre. Its combination of cutting-edge technology, lightweight construction, and driver-focused design made it a true engineering masterpiece the NSX proved that a supercar could be both thrilling and practical, setting a standard that continues to influence modern performance cars. It remains a testament to Honda's vision and technical expertise, a car that was decades ahead of its time.